This is the story of the first and last time a Native American would be the central motif on currency. On the eve of the 20th century, 1889 saw many events. The first Zeppelin ascent, Spanish rule in Cuba ends after 400 years, Pearl Hart becomes the last person and first woman to rob a train, Aspirin is patented, a Native American appeared as a central motif on the $5 silver certificate. They're known as horse blankets. 25% larger than notes today. Native Americans have been depicted on American coinage back to colonial times. These gold coins depict Lady Liberty wearing Native American headdress. Who was Chief Running Antelope? Born in 1821 in present day South Dakota, he grew up learning the traditional ways. His life was uniquely tied to historical tumultuous events. Europeans were few then, with limited outposts for trade. But as their numbers increased, many started to push west. A policy of manifest destiny threatened First Peoples' way of life. In 1849, the discovery of gold in California increases tensions. Discoveries of gold and silver profoundly affected the monetary system of the United States and the policy towards the indigenous peoples. 1852. The first treaty of Fort Laramie was signed by over 30 native tribes. The United States acknowledged their territorial claims in exchange for their promise to let people travel safely west. Outbreaks of violence continued. Many non-treaty Indians like Red Cloud effectively fought back, compelling the United States to sign a second treaty of Fort Laramie, and that established the Great Sioux Reservation. 1872, while touring to the eastern cities, Chief Running Antelope met with President Grant. 1874, gold discovered in the Black Hills. Continued violation of treaties looking for gold further escalated tension. In 1876, Custard 7th Cavalry was annihilated at the Little Bighorn. The United States government responded that hostile non treaty Indians like Sitting Bull and Crazy Horse must be forced to settle on a reservation and become farmers. Worst animal genocide in history. It has been estimated that the original bison population was 60 million. 1900. Decades of systematic extermination of the bison was a blatant attempt to starve the plains Indians into submission. By the turn of the 20th century, only a few hundred remained. By 1890, not long after Sitting Bull's death, 300 indigenous people at Wounded Knee were killed by Union troops. This massacre is generally recognized as the end of the Indian Wars and the closing of the frontier. In old age, Red Cloud is quoted as having said, They made us many promises, more than I can remember, but they kept one. They promised to take our land, and they took it. So why was Chief Running Antelope chosen to be on the $5 note in 1899, so relatively soon after these tragic events occurred? Thousands of Native Americans were archived by the United States, including many of these chieftains. A 
Unlike those other tribal leaders who were hostile, he was a known peacemaker and willing to conform. It's almost certainly boils down that running out was non-hostile and accepting American expansion. So he could be depicted as a powerful noble chieftain, a worthy adversary who yielded to American progress. He fit neatly into American expectations and sensibilities at that time. He helped the United States government in all ways, almost certainly thinking he was doing the best for his people. Towards the end of his life, he did express regret for not resisting. He dies in 1897. Epilogue The memorial to one who resisted. Crazy Horse In 1980, the United States Supreme Court found that taking a property set aside by treaty for the Sioux tribe required just compensation, including interest. Over $1 billion sits in an account uncollected. The Sioux want their land returned. The creation of Yellowstone National Park by the United States protected the bison from poaching, and ironically played a role in saving the bison from extinction by the United States government. It is a beautiful note, one of the most popular amongst collectors. Turns out his headdress did not did not fit. So another headdress, not of his tribe, was used. Likely Pawnee, one of his tribe's rivals. Angering many who see it as yet another slight. Running antelope, Pawnee headdress and all, remained on the note until 1923.